Welcome back folks to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S on the Switch. Last episode we met this strange little creature, Veronica, and apparently her sister has gone missing looking for her to try to save her. So we've agreed to help Veronica find Serena, her sister. So they went to the bathhouse and a m bunch of monsters attacked Veronica. They kidnapped her, took her back to the lair. Oh wow, an underground labyrinth out west. So, you know, let's head out. Let's see what Eric has to say. Alright, you're told us. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking... Veronica may be a pain in the you-know-what. <laughs> we still gotta help her out. Her sister just a little girl. Oh, is she? Alright, let's head over. What do these guys have to say? If you intend to go west, be prepared to fight. Praying on the weak. Okay. Oh, hello. People all talking weird, uh, like, poems. It's kind of strange. Let's head out westward. Alright, here we go. The Hotto Step. Okay, there's, um, the enemies. There's the, uh, she slimes. We could fight them, but I kind of want to rush over and save Serena as soon as possible. Mount Fuji. Like Mount Fuji, but not quite. What is this? Here stands Mount Fuji. Yeah, well, uh, that might be another another story for another time. If you haven't noticed, there's there's areas in this in this area where you do have to come back later on for other story related stuff. This game is not it's not linear. You have to go back and forth and kind of look at other things. So, uh, how about we grab a horse and leave these two sh behind? That yeah, Veronica kid talks a good game, but could she really handle herself with things got airy? I guess she did say she was a mighty sage from Arborea. He doesn't know what that means. Look at her all smug, like with her hands on her hips. She's 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 great. Anyway, I'm gonna hop on this horse and run off without them. Oh, there's a campsite here. Not that I need to camp. Oh, there's something here. That. A wake robin. You don't you don't have to get off your horse this time to uh to collect the iron ore. Now around this corner these guys are so slow they won't be able to catch me. Uh there's there's a door here, but I can't get through and there's something good in there, I can tell. But we'll we'll look at that later. Anyway, onwards. There's another whatever that is. I believe that she was around here. Oh no, the cryptic crypt. Okay, so... It should be at the cryptic cave. Oh crap. Um right around here. It's past past this campsite right here. I'm not gonna bother saving because who cares about saving, right? We have auto save on our side. Let's look at those guys a little rolling around. And here we go. Into the cave. Gonna have to leave a uh, my horse out here. Photo mode part two. Wait. Oh, you can get all three of them in there. You can't get Veronica to uh, do anything though. 
All right, so we'll head through here. There's some Drakis, or whatever the green ones are called. That. Whatever this is. A chunk of iron ore. I can build some good stuff with this. Hopefully. This is a trap. I can already tell it's a trap. Because, I mean, I played the game before. I know I know what's going on. Okay, so there are trap floors around here that most people don't realize. I believe this is a good floor right here. There's, this is not a trap. And that must be the staircase to get back up. So, trap here. Because I'm, I'm just trying to remember what happened the first time. So, I think that might be a trap. I want to go the long way around. Oh, damn it. I thought that was the good floor. Okay, getting getting back up is a pain. It's like a huge pain. That's all I remember. You have to, it, but here we go. Good ladder right there to help us up. All right. Now, hopefully, we don't fall through. This is the good. This is the good area right here. And through here should be good. Now, here is another flashback. Oh, look at that light. It's pretty nice. That was such a the Yggdrasil root. Oh, you heard that, right? We gotta go the long way around. This route tells you a lot of secrets. I wonder what uh, the other two think. There's something I want to talk to you about. She's angry. Keep your wits about you. This place is full of tricks and traps. What do you think, buddy? Thief. Okay, so... So, the long way uh, around is what you want to take. Not the short way around. So... Damn, I can't remember. Where was... Is this... The... I can't quite remember which was the way I needed to go again. I think it's this place. I swear, if I fall down again, if I fall... I... I... Ah, this is so frustrating. This is, like, really... Oh, great. And I gotta... So you see that guy right there, the glowing dude? What I need to do is actually beat him. Oh, gold ore. Actually, maybe this might have been worth it, to be honest. We'll see how powerful Veronica is now. Our first fight with her. Black Mage. Go, oh, Flame Slash this dude. Skull Rider. But why is she... Oh, yeah, she doesn't have magic. I forgot. Yeah, that's... It's kind of part of the story. You'll find out in a, in a few minutes. She lost all her magic, so she's basically useless. Got him. Oh, she's hitting them pretty hard, though. She's actually doing alright. Casting Kasap. Oh, I should save my energy, actually. What am I doing? I should not have been using that energy up. Alright, um... We'll be using... 
We'll use some of these medicinal herbs. Now, what you want to do... Oh, crud. No, 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 no. So these, these guys can crawl up the wall like that. That's cool, isn't it? And they can even run. So... Let me think. Where do I need to go? He said the long way around, right? Which would go to say... It would go to mean... Either this way or this way is the right way. Oh, I think he, he, he went through here. In the flashback, right? Yeah, that's where he went. Alright, and this is the right way. This is not the right way. That's a trap, obviously. If... Alright. I can't believe I'm still, I'm still riding this stupid thing. Alright, so... Right around the corner, hopefully. Come on. Nice. That treasure chest right there, that's a trap. Obvious one. And we made it. Not bad. That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. Uh -huh. Wait, over there. <sighs> Serena, wake up. It's me, Veronica. Mm -hmm. That's your sister? Yeah, that's her little sister. <laughs> so sorry it's just i oh, well i was so awfully tired after all that searching that i needed a nap and veronica it, is that really you what in the world has happened to you Who, but how did you know it was me <laughs> we've been sisters a long time you know it would take a lot more than a new look to fool me <laughs> Yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You know... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid's... Right, here's a big revelation right here. <laughs> well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. Veronica's actually an adult who was turned into, like, a, a, little, a little thing like that. So she's actually older than Serena. I told you I was taking off my monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Yep, that's what happened. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but... Instead of draining my magic, they drain my age. <gasps> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like <laughs> one. Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? The Serena and Ronic are twins, and they're both sages, actually. You might think, oh, she's a, she's like a priestess, and uh, Veronica might be a battle mage, but that's actually not the case. They're actually uh, two parts of one sage. So Veronica got all the offensive abilities, and Serena got all the healing abilities. All right, so you can save here. Yeah, why not? All right, we're gonna save right here. Very convenient. I just have to remember how to get through this cave, through this uh, dungeon. The first time uh, I played this, it was really difficult because I didn't know where the heck I was supposed to go. Oh, there's only one direction to go. All right, let's hopefully we can beat this boss. 
I wonder what would happen if we just walk up to the door and try opening it. You don't know it. Okay, so you need a secret word, and of course this will tell us a secret word. They're just standing there watching me. Umbra Kandumbra. <laughs> so that music that I was playing, right? It's called Erdrich's Dream, I believe. It's the music from the beginning of Dragon Quest III's remake on the Game Boy and SNES. So what do these guys got to say? What's up? Pretty nervous about meeting Serena. I mean, the last thing we needed was another Veronica. Hmm. Turns out the Serena is mature, sensible, calm. Everything her sister isn't, basically. Uh, what do you think? And that's funny that she's shorter. Taking it very awfully well being tiny now. Alright, so let's, you know, restore Veronica back to normal. Umbra Kadumbra. Hopefully, we can be strong enough to defeat these guys because they are tough. They are rather tough. I didn't do any grinding since then. Oh, actually, we, we got a whole team of four now. You come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this Jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerer like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? <laughs> Drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadows' respect when he came back. All my plans. Shattered. Look at all these puns, these jar puns. His name is Jarvis. He wanted to earn this, the Lord of Shadows' respect, and all his plans were shattered, right? The Lord of Shadows. That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get This is gonna be tough. Veronica. He gave them away. Smashing, like smashing jars. <laughs> Especially when they bring me presents. If it isn't the one that got away, talk about eating the jackpots. Hot. Yeah. Just sit tight while we suck every ounce of magic out of you. Boys, this lot of earn Looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. All right, let's go. Let's go. Going one way, this fight's gonna end. But you get my magic back. Okay, okay. Serena does not have. Okay, that's pretty, that's good actually. Serena and Veronica are not, do not have any sort of health bar, which means I only need to protect, um, I need to protect and I'll have Serena, uh, she'll heal basically. Serena's a healer. So, we're going to attack Jarvis' sh shadow first. No, no. Maybe go to sleep. Please heal me, please heal me. Ow. Thank you, thank you. 
And of course, he is acting stupid. Okay, now we defend. You know why? Because he... We defend because Jarvis is doing the deep sigh. I know what that means. Defend. The cool, the cool breath is what you want to do, to avoid. So every time Jarvis does a, does a, a deep breath, you have got to. Right, nice job. Please heal him next. Oh. Actually, I could probably let. Not nah, too risky. Oh, see, that's why. Okay, you got you got to be careful. Oh, come on! All right, let's do one more flame slash on his shadow. Awake, Robin. Oh, she can do that? She can buff people right now. Alright, that's nice. Uh, yeah. I didn't think he was gonna do that. I'll just heal myself. She can heal uh, Eric next. Or heal Eric here. Or I'll use one of these. Okay, he does not have enough MP. Please heal me. Please heal me. Yes. Nice, nice. And we'll use this on Jarvis' shadow. And he's dead. Okay, and they're running on MP, actually. Yeah, keep attacking the person who does not have a health bar. Keep doing that. I'm actually not doing too bad. Nice. Alright, we're gonna be doing one more flame slash on the shadow. Nice, nice. Oh, crap. Please don't... Okay. Wow. That was useless, but uh, okay. Nice, nice. There's only two left now. Why aren't you doing really well? What the heck? This is much easier than it was uh, on the PS4, uh, the PC version when I was playing that. Okay, we're we're gonna be defending now this time. No. No, no, no. No, no. Damn it, no. Okay, I think we can st we can maybe still do it. Oh my gosh, does she have? A Is there an item that brings me back? I, I know th there's the acres of leaf, but. This stupid- Oh no, no, no. Thanks. Doesn't have any MP. Alright, we're defending this time. If I had not had the stupid Shypox, I would have beat him. Thank you, heal. If I had been- Okay, good, good. Thank you. Now, what we're going to be doing, right, is we're going to be doing Rubble Rouser. Actually, yeah, he has a spell. That's rock. Okay. 
Actually, with Serena around, I could probably keep. I could probably beat this guy easily. All right, I'm gonna do Rubble Rouser again. Nice, thank you. Oh, she's using give me files, which means I'll be able to keep doing this. Okay. Okay, no. Here, to myself. Thank you. No. All right, we'll do one more Rubble Rouser on him. I'm gonna defend this time, hopefully. Okay, please. Okay, heal me, heal me, heal me. Heal me. Thank you. You can do this at the luminary. No, 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 no. Thank you. All right, nice. Serena's being really helpful, and so is Veronica. Actually, I'm getting lots of good stuff. Nice. No. Thank you. She's smart. She can he she heals me even when I'm like not expecting it. Hopefully she heals me again. Thank you. Her AI is a lot better actually this time, I'm thinking. Defend me, buff me, buff me, yes. She knows what to do. Okay. Rubble, rubble rouser. Let's go. Right, I'm defending. No. No. Okay. okay. Heal me. Yes. Can't take any risks. Oh, he hit me. Thinks he's cool. Okay, I'm, I'm doing all right. No, no. Oh, she's healing me at least. All right, finally, I'm back. All right, now I'm pepped up. And tw tw twice in a row. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Veronica. Yes, yes, we won. <laughs> I beat him on my first try. Jarvis and friends are defeated. 670. Uh, the Luminaire didn't get anything because he died. I did it without him. That sucks for him. All right. Shattered. Another jar pun. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. When everything finally goes to, to pot. pot. Uh. Hmm. You'll find out soon enough, huh? <laughs> right. Time.
time to get my magic back. This works. Oh. But you look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. <laughs> No need to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. But then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? I know you? who he is. Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Yggdrasil's chosen, long have we waited to greet you. We of Arboria swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arboria, it proves that beyond a doubt. Oh, Serena and Veronica are from a land called Arborea, which is like, it's it's like, it's like a holy place, and they pretty much, you know. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. They basically are sworn to protect the Luminary. They're the descendants of another legendary hero who traveled with the Luminary, so they're here to help him. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you. I guess you really are the Luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. Nice. Yggdrasil is chosen, awarded for being recognized as a Luminary by the two twins from Arborea, and trusted with ensuring your safety. It's pretty epic how you have like this stuff going on. So do I have all four of them following? Yeah. My new friend, Serena. Hello. I've been thinking. All right, so there's someone else who needs to be helped. I wonder who that is. Oh, chunk of iron ore, nice. There's some good stuff here. A lot of, a lot of jars, notice that? There's a lot of jars. And he's Jarvis. I think they did that on purpose. So, through here, there should be the next victim. Gosh, look at all these cells. What a horrid place. Hey, who's there? You're safe now. We took care of that potty old fathead and his cronies. Potty old fathead and his cronies. Thanks. I owe you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me. Instead. So that's that's the little girl's dad, basically. Yeah. You were starting. 
starting to worry. And what about your poor little daughter on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. Wait, you know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Oh. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. Noah? Where have I heard that name before? Eric knows who Noah is. Look at him, he's like, oh, crap. I have taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. He just runs off. Certainly left in rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest. Yes, we do. So we're gonna head back. Oh, so we headed straight to Hato automatically. All right, not bad. Finally, you wake. Your comrades rose long ago. Okay, whatever. These people talk so weird. I can't believe we beat Jarvis in our first try. That took me forever during the, in the original version. Like, I, it was so hard for me originally, and we beat him in the first try this time. See, it's because I got better at the game. Let's see what these guys have to say now. Awake at last, huh? Don't worry. We all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. Hmm. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. Yep. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary. The man who defeated the Dark One long ago. A lot ago. of foreshadowing going on here. The Dark One. So yeah, you're gonna find the Dark One later on. We'll see who the Dark One is. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not to reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says. Yeah, over there. <laughs> yeah, Veronica's voice is really good. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths, no? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. Nosy Noah. And you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful. Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar. That's the name of the guy, Nosy Noah. I'm pretty sure that was his name. All right, so they follow me around. What are these people saying? Oh, I don't need to drop money off. I have 500 gold. We're gonna head on over to see that dude. Where the heck was the bar again? Oh yeah, it was around here.
to be in here doing something. Come on, Daddy. Let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing me drinks must be getting tired. One more for the <laughs> road swing. Never know. He might it. have some hot gossip that I <laughs> need to hear. <laughs> Fishing for rumors, huh? Some things never change. Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. No other know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? And what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now. Yeah, so he's the informant for all the thieves and uh, rare. I don't go trying to get mixed up in his stuff. It just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and then monsters. So he was in the ladies' baths when Veronica was kidnapped. I only stuck my head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have walloped the lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us, and well, I just hope she's all right. This is this face she's gonna make. Ugh, she has this like cringe face. <laughs> she kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Idrisen? Crikey! You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, man. Eh? Well, seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. Oh, good, we're getting free information. On the way here, Connie and me was traveling across the desert. When we came down, with a bad case of heat stroke, we didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. We just about given up hope. But then, these soldiers from Gallopolis came along. Bliss. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the Sultan's bleeding palace. Oh! Talk about lucky. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was. This rainbow-colored branch thing. Oh, shimmery and beautiful. Well, I know top-end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself. Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after <laughs> <laughs> We should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Veronica and Serena join the party. We have our two, two party members. We have a full party now, four people. Oh, look at that. They're so happy to join us. All right. Here, you'll need this to get to Galopolis. The Galopolis Pass. The guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let nice. us see. There's those kids again. All right, so I don't think we need to buy anything else. We just need to get the heck out of here. Oh, wrong way. All right, we'll head out. 
See if anybody is saying anything interesting. Okay, whatever. Oh, the steel quality. Actually, what was that quest that guy put me on? This dude right here. He had a quest for me? Okay, sure. Oh, he had enough ore. Recipe book. I love iron arms. Iron broadswords, iron claymores. Nice. He gave me a really cool recipe book. That was nice of him. Very nice of him. All right, let's head out. We'll grab that. Uh, we'll grab that iron ore, and we'll build something cool out of it. I should remember something important. Zoom. She taught me zoom. Wow, she's a good magician that she can she can uh, teach you spells and all that stuff. Veronica is actually the best um, wizard in the entire land. She's considered to be the most powerful archmage. Buy hands free over hill and dale with auto run. Auto run. So if I click the left stick, oh yeah, auto run. Huh. Imagine being this lazy that you auto run, like you don't even want to push this the stick forward. It's not even that accurate. I'm just gonna run like normal. Oh, check out this green water. I can't go down there. It's probably nice and warm. Alright, so... Stay here in the water. Uh, the Galopolis region. It's gotta be up there, though. Let's see what these three have to say. I want to rest. You good? So the branch of the world tree, the rain bow. That's what it's called, the rain bow. Anyway, you go there, you get the branch of the world tree, and hopefully that'll help us on our journey. It's interesting that we don't know what we're supposed to do yet. There's no like real set objective at the moment. All we know is that you're supposed to go out and just do stuff. Isn't it kind of interesting how there's no like bad? There's no bad guy yet. There hasn't been a villain. A villain hasn't shown up yet, right? There's no main villain except for except for the king, I guess. And the Galapagos region should be across this bridge right here. But yeah, it's, it's interesting how the pacing of this game works. The way there n no actual enemies start showing up in, in the beginning section. It's been hours and there's nothing. Wow. Look at this canyon. Gotta be, we gotta watch out for these rolling guys. They might bump into you. Alright, and there's Galapagos. And there's some rabbits. These are new new enemies from Dragon Quest XI. Here we go. Oh, the save point. Oh, <gasps> you have reached the end of the story. And end of the story part demo. Would you like to record your progress and venture log and end the game? Wow. Well, I guess that's it then. So I, this demo is supposed to be 10 hours long and I, it only took me like six hours. It took me how long? Six hours and... Six hours and 30, min 30 minutes. That's how long it took me to finish this demo. Thanks for playing the demo version of Dragon Quest XI S. Echoes in Loose of Age Definitive Edition. That's a mouthful. Well. It looks like uh, we beat the demo. So September 27th. That's when the game comes out. I'll see you guys then when the actual game comes out. And uh, when we actually get the real game and continue because this, this save point will continue in the comments i actually want you guys to let me know something let me know if you want me to do the the 16-bit version of the game or a 3d version because i'm gonna try to choose one over the other for the majority of the playthrough i was i'm kind of leaning towards 16-bit but uh i want to hear you know you the viewers opinion as well so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time